Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com here today with our Galaxy Note 2. This is the AT&T version and we're going to take a look at a ROM that I'm pretty excited to see finally on our device. So hang out, we'll be right back. Alrighty, so this is the Sky Note, the 4.3 version. This is a TouchWiz 4.3, basically what you get on the Galaxy S4 and the Note 3. It has some aspects of both, and like I said, I am very excited to finally see this on our device. Been waiting a long time. I am probably in the minority. I actually like TouchWiz. A lot of people don't uh, prefer the stripped-down Android AOSP. And that's all nice. Yeah, I, I like it just fine, but I prefer TouchWiz. Um, I gotta say, as long as it's fast. TouchWiz on the S4 was crazy slow and laggy, and um, but then the developers got a hold of it and optimized it and all that and made it so much better. And this one here we're gonna take a look at is very similar. So before we get started talking about it, we gotta give thanks to the developer, Sean Z Screams. As the sun goes behind a cloud there and the room darkens, sorry about that. Anyway, Sean Z Screams, he's a recognized developer over at XDA. Big thanks to him for hooking us up with this. Now I did a review of Skynote, the 4.1.2 for the Note 2 and loved it. One of my favorite ROMs, one of my go-to ROMs. Whenever I would try out something new, testing it, I would always go back to Skynote. So before I even tried this ROM out, I knew it was going to be a quality build, and uh, it was. I've been using it for a day and a half now, and it's been great. So we'll fire this up here, let you guys take a look at it. Hopefully I'm in camera, and I wasn't. <laughs> Good thing I checked. So we've got the new boot animation. But we still have our boot up sound. So we'll talk about this a little bit. This is the SkyNote 4.3 edition MJ4, and it is an AT&T leak. Uh, rooted, zip aligned, deodexed, all that. Tethering enabled, and the bootloader has been stripped out. It's got the 4.4 keyboard, also has the Note 3 keyboard. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Cool new sounds going on. You can see that it has the light flow lock screen. Now, I put on Nova Launcher, but you have the two other launchers by default, TouchWiz, and then the new Android launcher. So we'll take a look at that one first. Now, that's my own custom wallpaper in the background all right there you go I threw on something um, a little bit more suited to this so this like I said is the new launcher and uh, if you long press you get some options here you can do wallpaper widgets and go to your settings it's got the new icons I've added all my apps on here like I said I really Wanted to give it a good test over the last couple days. Hangouts is your new SMS on here. Uh, it's got Google Chrome. Camera does work. There you go. You see the camera does work. Um, taking some pictures. I woke up to snow this morning. It's crazy. Anyway, uh, the camera works, but the flash does not. So if you enable the flash and try to take a picture, it's hit or miss. Um, sometimes it works. Okay, it's working now. It didn't work for me earlier. It force closed. And that is mentioned as one of the bugs in the uh, features list here. But some other things that have been thrown in, a lot of Note 3 applications. S Note 3, Note 3 Sketch, Note 3 Fonts, My Files, Note 3 Emojis and Keyboard. We also have Exposed Framework in, on here, the Exposed Framework Installer, as well as the Wanum Exposed Mods. Galaxy Gear is working, although 
I can't really demo that because I'm not cool enough to have a Galaxy Gear. Let's take a look at TouchWiz Launcher. And you know, it's just basically what you would expect here. But everything has been working great. I haven't had any problems. Like I said, the camera force closing on me. Let's see if it works in TouchWiz here. All right, I turn the flash on and it's working. So like I said, I tested it out when I first put it on yesterday and it force closed. So maybe it just takes a couple of reboots uh, since then to fix that issue. So that's good to know. GPU acceleration and CPU boosting it removed all the bloatware. I'm sorry I keep going out of frame, guys. It's also thrown in the Sony Bravia engine. Let me clear all these things here. Now, Wi-Fi is working great. I did a completely fresh install. I wiped everything, even my internal SD card. And don't be afraid to do that, guys. It's super easy. Just get on your phone, hook it up to the computer, copy everything over to a folder on your computer. Then you go in, you wipe the internal SD card. When you set up the new ROM, just go back in and don't copy everything over. Copy just the important things, folders like your titanium backup, uh, any pictures that you had, music, all those things. And that will help to ensure a completely clean install of a ROM. But this is on AT&T, and I, so I followed the instructions on the thread here to install the AT&T version. And the instructions talk about if you're coming from a 4.1.2 ROM, you should use Odin to flash this particular one-click file, .tar file, that uh, he provides in the thread. And then after you do that, you only have to do that once, you can go in and flash the ROM as normal. If you're coming from another 4.3 ROM, you can just flash the ROM uh, like any other normal ROM. So I did that and worked great. My Wi-Fi is working fine, except I keep getting this little message saying that my Wi-Fi is not stable. The connection is not stable. And I've never gotten that on any other ROM, so it's probably something to do with this one. And he uh, mentions, the developer mentions in the thread that Wi-Fi is still an issue in some cases. So I'm sure in future builds that's going to be taken care of. It also talks about some of the other bugs being force closes here and there. I haven't had any uh, except the camera. Like I said, the first time I tried the flash, it force closed. But other than that, no problems at all. So everything working really well. S Pen uh, makes the sounds when it comes out. It uh, You can manipulate the screen. I can do screenshots things like that um, you can bring up your note here so S Pen does work in some cases it does not have the hover effect that the little pie thing pops out like it does in the note 3 so it does have a lot of the S Pen functionality which is pretty cool now you see it does have multi window here as well and long pressing can get rid of that so a lot of good a lot of good stuff going on here uh call quality has been fine texting has been fine gps works i, I did that yesterday um quadrant had kind of a low score to be honest i think it was it wasn't even seven thousand but that's not really a big deal voice to text has worked great no problems I haven't dropped any calls, haven't dropped Wi-Fi. Just all in all, it's worked great. Lock screen, has the ripple, has the light, everything you would expect from the TouchWiz. So I think that's about it, guys. Really great to see these ROMs starting to come out for our device. I've been waiting quite a while because, like I said, if you love... Sorry, there's a little bit of a... Uh power down sound effect but anyway if you like touch then uh 
you're happy to see the 4.3 touch whiz coming to these um, older devices. But anyway, that's it for me, guys. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I will do my best to retrieve them from Google+. Yeah, thanks a lot, Google. So, incidentally, my Google Plus page is now up and running. I am horrible about posting on that, so don't expect too much, but you can check it out if you'd like. You can definitely check us out, though, mobiletakevideos.com on Facebook and Twitter. Stop by the site if you need any help, any repairs, things like that. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.